Welcome back into the ASA News Studio. We are broadcasting live from the SAP Business Object User Conference here in Anaheim, California. My name is Tom Wilgham, one of the co-hosts, and we're delighted to have Jamie Bridwell in here into the studio to start day three. Jamie, welcome. Good morning, Tom. We had a uh, quite an awesome night last night at the Developer Wars. I think some people might have stayed up uh, partying a little too much, but we're, we did not, so that is good. <laughs> exactly. We're here first thing in the morning. So. Absolutely. And we're going to talk about support, and I think this is a great topic. Uh, we're here at conferences, and a lot of the, you know, the new innovations come out and talking about new analytics. There was an acquisition, and yet during our town hall session in which SAP's leadership got up there to talk to the, to the membership, support was... People wanted to talk about it. You are the, besides Steve Lucas, you got a round of applause for some of your announcements, which we'll talk about today. But I, I just want to say it's still a really hot topic here in the community. And I'm glad you're here to, to talk about it. Well, I think that uh, when you look at support, it's our ability to help customers innovate faster, right? And by innovating faster is because we help them implement faster. Mm -hmm. And so if we can do our jobs, customers happy, they adopt more SAP solutions, and we're happy. So. Uh, definitely a hot topic. They definitely want to. They want to be successful in their own roles. So, and so they want to hear from you because I think one of the interesting themes that I heard from yesterday, and one of the actually crowd members asked this was, um, how do we get our people to, to take advantage of more of the support options? Because I know that's probably job number one that they're raising awareness. And it was interesting to hear people say, you know, non-SAP employees say we want to help our employees be aware of more of these things as well. So is that one of the things that you're working on? Is that awareness factor of there's these great things out there? Yeah, I think that, uh, especially when it comes to the analytics customer base, mm -hmm. um, we need to improve our ability to get the message out there on what services are available under their maintenance agreements. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, yesterday I highlighted tools, services that were available, and you're right, we haven't done the greatest job of getting that information out there. So. This year and next year, working with the strategic SIG on making sure that we continue, you know, a pseudo marketing campaign within ASUG to make sure that customers know what they're entitled to under their maintenance agreements. And then we'll also be working on a, on a marketing campaign internal to SAP to allow the customers to understand what they are entitled to under their various maintenance agreements. Well, there's you had some actually really cool announcements that you were talking about. That I was going to try and pin you down on a date because you said we got you know. Overhaul the marketplace. There's some new single. There's some password sign-in things that you're talking about. Can you just bring up a couple of those that you mentioned? Because I think those were very cool. Yeah. So before the end of the year, and uh, uh, what you're talking about is adjustments or improvements made to our service marketplace. Mm -hmm. um, before the end of the year, right now we've had a few customers take a look. Uh, you know, we're in user acceptance testing right now and having uh, our customers actually demo it. Mm -hmm. um, so to pin me down on a date's not going to happen. Ah. <laughs> But um, the, the added features or the improvements that are made are based on the feedback that we receive from our customers. Okay. So the ability to sign into the service marketplace with their passwords yep. or with their email addresses. Mm -hmm. um, simpler, easy to use navigation. Mm -hmm. uh, make it more intuitive for our customers. Mm -hmm. um, better search results. Uh, you know, tiled, uh, a tiled layout for the applications that right. you use every day. So uh, that's coming in 2013 and then 2014 um, we'll be focusing on our license key generator, on our software downloads. Um, we'll be able to incorporate personalized widgets that allow customers to put in the kind of content they want to see. So personalize it, personalizing that actual experience to the user based on the SAP solutions they own. Right, that's great. I mean, that personalization, I'm sure, is going to be welcome. I mean, you got round of applause for basically everything you mentioned, so that was pretty nice. must have been nice to hear because you guys get a lot of phone calls and not in the other way, so. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny. Nobody ever calls support when they're happy, right? <laughs> so uh, it was nice to hear that, you know, that action, the feedback that we had heard from our customers, mm -hmm. right, was met with approval. Right. And I think that's the big thing. You know, you'd asked me a question yesterday as well around, around feedback and, right. uh, and what we do with that feedback. And we take it seriously and being able to action that feedback and produce an end result that our customers are, are happy with uh, right. was reassuring. Is there, you know, I always, I think when I talk to, to Kristen and, and Chris from your team, is there one, you know, big thing that you would want an ASUG member to know who does not take advantage of their support? You know, what would be if they saddled up next to you at a bar and said, you know, tell me, what's the one thing I really need to know about my support offerings that, that maybe I don't know right now? What would you tell them? 
Yeah, I, I don't know if it would be just one <laughs> first. Um, I think that we have education training, mm -hmm. we have services, and we have remote supportability tools mm -hmm. that I would like them taking advantage completely. Right. Um, we have you know, the ability to educate our customers to make sure that they're skilled at the solutions they purchase. Um, we're able to train them on how to use those solutions. Um, we're able to be there to guide them through implementing those solutions and then when they have problems, we have tools available to expedite the resolution of those messages. Mm -hmm. And so I would absolutely tell them to take advantage of all the education and training, take advantage of all the services, and then when you do have a problem, we definitely want to use in our remote supportability tools. Right, that's a great point. So what would be the number one reason, have you guys ever surveyed like, why people are hesitant to use support? Is it just because they've got 10 other million things going, and are, well, you know, what's the number one feedback why people don't use it as much as they should? Is it yeah. like going to the doctor or something? You know, like they, they don't take your advice as what they should? Yeah, I, I don't know that, that people avoid using support. Mm -hmm. You know, we do over a million messages a year. It's true. So I don't know that they avoid it. I think that um, we haven't done a great job of promoting or getting the information out about mm -hmm. services mm -hmm. that would allow them to proactively um, resolve a lot of their concerns right. or a lot of their issues, um, and as a result, um, you meant you know going to the you, you mentioned going to the doctor, going to the dentist, right. right? Well, if I don't go to the dentist for a year or two, I don't do that preventive maintenance, mm -hmm. right? The next time I go to the dentist, I can expect I'm going to have a root canal, a teeth, a tooth pulled, etc. Right. Uh, supports very 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 similar. If we're not taking advantage of those services to ensure that we're keeping our systems up to date, we're applying the necessary fixes, what have you eventually we're going to run into a problem, mm -hmm. and that's going to be critical, and that's typically where we get the calls yep. versus being proactive in, in applying the, the services and applying the fixes that we already have available to our customers. Great. Well, I think one of the biggest success stories that came, should come out of this is when we were in the Influencer Summit on Sunday with your team was there and the work that they've done working with the strategic SIG. From your point of view, can you put a, you know, a price or, I mean, that must just be great to see that you know, the relationship has evolved and there's so much, the dialogue is open, the communication between ASUG and SAP and your, your organization, must, you know, how do you feel about that? Yeah, you know, we're very, very pleased with the relationship that we have with ASUG. Um, uh, myself and Neil Greathead were, were part of the strategic SIG when it first launched uh, from, our, from the SAP points of contact. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember a time of that influencer session that we were asked to wait outside mm -hmm. and not be part of that session. Mm -hmm. Um, and so when we came in, all we, all we got was a, hey, here's everything that you're doing wrong, right? right. Um, versus explaining that, you know, it's not about things that we're doing wrong. Nine times out of ten, it's about the communication or the mm -hmm. education of the things that we are doing. And so we've learned from that tremendously with our relationship in the SIG, getting out there, getting to the chapter meetings, getting down there, talking to our customers. Yep. And so I think that our, our partnership with ASUG, our partnership with the strategic SIG, has absolutely been beneficial and in support or within the Active Global Support Organization mm -hmm. for analytics, improving our messages and improving our communication channels. Yep. All right, so last question. What's the one thing you're most excited about as you look into this end of 2013, 2014 year for in the Active Global Support? Um, you know, I, I'm very, very happy or the one thing I'm looking forward to is the direction that we're going. So in the, the area that I'm responsible for, which is our message processing mm -hmm. business, um, we have a vision, and our vision is support without messages. Mm -hmm. So coming up with proactive services and delivery vehicles where customers don't need to contact us, but we can proactively contact them to educate them and potentially make sure that they don't have any problems in their environments. Right. And so I'm, I'm probably the most, uh, most excited about that new vision and looking forward to those new delivery models coming out in, in the years to come. That's great. Well, thank you very much for coming in, Jamie. It's been a pleasure talking with you. Thanks, Tom. We're just getting started here on the show floor at SBOUC, so stay tuned at asugnews.com for more interviews with SAP executives, ASUG members, and we also have some Business One customers coming in later this morning.